Hey y'all, I'm Scott. And I'm Nathan. And we just make kind of sweet water cycle bracelets. We're going to show them to you in the smoothie. Hey, so, gonna, check out and watch. We're going to brag about them, yeah. Okay, so you know how we made these sick water bracelets, water cycle bracelets? How to make them. You need, you need some, uh, any pipe cleaner, whatever color, two yellow beads, red, two reds and two green beads, two white beads, two blue beads, and two black beads. This is what they represent. The yellow beads, the yellow beads right here represent the sun. The sun is the main, and the sun is the main energy in the water, in the water cycle. Okay, so the red bead represents transpiration, the uh, the water that escapes through the plant's leaves. The green one is evaporation. That's when the sun heats the water and um, the water makes clouds. Oh, hey guys, you can see there. Okay, so now we're doing white. The white color, the white colors are um, the white color is condensation. Condensation, the condensation means is the, the evaporated water that forms the, the condensate or gets compacted together. It gets so cold that it turns into water droplets and forms clouds. And then comes and then comes precipitation. That's any water that falls from the sky. The water that falls from the sky make, can either make rain, snow, hail, sleet, whatever, or any type of rain. Okay, we did it, Aaron. Okay, our last two beads are black. Those blacks are for runoff. Though that's where the water um, soaks into the ground. Basically, it, it would fall, then it would soak into the ground. Sometimes it would, the ground would already have a lot of water in it, so it would like run off into creeks or rivers or lakes, oceans. Um, and then it starts all over again. So that's why it's called a cycle. Let's review. Okay, so first the sun heats up the leaves and the water evaporates. It transfer transpiration. Yes, and then it evaporates. Then it creates clouds. That's water vapor. The water vapor cools and it creates clouds. That's called con condensating. Condensation. Then there is precipi precipitation. That's when they it rains, fro like frozen, or it just I messed up. Like. Precipitation. No. Oh, okay. So runoff is one of the last parts of the water cycle. So uh, the precipitation happens. Then the water gets into the soaks into the ground. Sometimes there's already a lot of water in the ground, so it will run off into creeks, oceans, and lakes. Then the cycle starts over again. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.